Hi, this is Cynthia Thomas, and I'm back to give you the latest on Google Cloud Edge and Security networking launches that have recently gone GA. Stick around. Cloud Armor, what is it? It's Google Cloud's DDoS defense service and web application firewall that works to protect your applications and websites. Cloud Armor protects your applications against DDoS attacks using the same technology that's used to protect Google's own services. Additionally, a host of security capabilities are available. But in this video, we'll focus on the latest and greatest that are now GA. Cloud Armor policies have now been extended to help you mitigate the top 10 OWASP web app vulnerabilities in an easy to configure fashion. The new pre-configured WAF rules include scanner detection, protocol attack, PHP injection, and session fixation. The available pre-configured rules are based on OWASP mod security core rule set. The rules allow Cloud Armor to evaluate dozens of distinct traffic signatures by referring to conveniently named rules instead of requiring you to define each signature manually. They can be tuned to different sensitivity levels as well. Cloud Armor also launched the capabilities to parse JSONs, filter based on ASN, and enable verbose logging. Incoming requests with JSON as the content type often report a high rate of noise and false positive hits from pre-configured WAF rules. With this release, you can now enable Cloud Armor to parse the JSON formatted content of HTTP requests on a per policy basis. Once enabled, you can significantly reduce the noise and false positive alerts for workloads with requests containing JSON. Another available rule attribute is filtering based on an ASN. Cloud Armor lets you allow or deny incoming requests serviced from a specific network operator defined by their autonomous system number. Finally, you can get more logging information of incoming requests. By default, event logs contain the security rule that was triggered. With verbose logging, Cloud Armor can generate additional details in the request logs to include a snippet of the offending content that triggered the rule. Next, let's talk about additions to VPC service controls your Google Cloud Service Perimeter Defense Tool. VPC Service Controls works to prevent data exfiltration and is a hard requirement for several financial services customers. It defines a service perimeter that lets you protect your organization's information by controlling access to resources and managed services data. Now, VPC Service Controls has expanded the services you can include in the service perimeter. It now includes the Cloud File Store API. File Store is a Google managed network attached storage solution. It works with VMs and Google Kubernetes Engine. And with VPC service controls, you can now control and protect the data exchange with File Store. Finally, let's talk about VPC service controls troubleshooter. This is a new tool that enables admins to better understand a denial caused by VPC service controls. Defining your security perimeter can be tricky while debugging denial errors. You can now easily investigate issues related to VPC service controls using the Cloud Console. Use the VPC service controls troubleshooter via the Logs Explorer or from the VPC service controls page. Once you enter a unique ID for the logged error, you'll be provided with one of the violation reasons for further insights into the denial. Very handy for confirming and defining your service perimeters. All right, now you're up to date on the latest networking and edge security launches. Check out the docs link below and let us know what you think in the comments. Join us next time for what's new in networking.